Okay, is it working? Wow, hi, I am recording on an actual camera. So this is a little experiment. Thank you for joining me, I'm Udzoka, walking in on this experiment. I talk about whatever I want and hopefully what I wanna talk about is something that you wanna hear or maybe you need to hear. I wanna talk about this season and what it's meant to me mental health wise. This video uh, will this be is lovely. Talks of lovely recording in a car. Just perfect. Um I guess I want to talk about seasonal depression because it's it's time. It's the time. It's something that obviously I'm still I'm still dealing with it because I'm still thinking about it. Like this season is so triggering. This season is really triggering. I feel like there's probably terms for all the things I'm gonna talk about and I just don't know the terms but this year is the first year that I've ever felt that I had a level of control over my life and how I feel during this time of year and so it's just so interesting to like this time of year, I associate it with so many negative feelings. And it's like on one hand, I'm instantly hit with a reminder of these feelings. And on the other hand, for the first time, for the first time in my life, I have the option to not engage with those feelings. In case you don't know, I have ADHD, I have depression, I have anxiety. I treat my depression with IVK treatments. The treatment that starts with a K rhymes with alumine. <laughs> and I take magical fungi. I take magical fungi for my anxiety. And these two things have been working better than anything I've done, anything I've experienced in my life. And I'm very thankful for it. But it wasn't always this way. And I'm, I'm just, it's just blowing my mind how, how I used to feel, how drastically different I feel. So this time of year it's like a roller coaster and it's from august to january so august to january is a roller coaster of emotions and triggers because it's all related to how i felt growing up in school i was in the system but we're all in the school system here in the u.s for until we're 18 years old and then I went to college, so it was a little bit extended. So for the majority of my life, I had to experience life in a certain way. So August was a high because, yeah, it's getting chillier, but it's still really good weather and it's the start of a new school year. It's a chance to prove Whatever I want to prove, I can be all A's, I can be a popular girl, I can, like it was a chance to, it was a clean slate. And so I would be excited and I love stationary stuff so, oh gosh, all the new binders and pencils and crayons and paper and I loved it all. I loved getting my stuff organized and making it cute and I loved August. And the feeling, I still get that feeling when it's August, when August hits, mid-August hits, August 13th, August 14th, I get a boom, this overwhelming feeling of, oh, ooh, I need to buy a new planner. I don't know, I get this feeling. And then as we go along, around this time, like right before Halloween, October, I start feeling super depressed because it's been two months we've been in school and nothing's changed. I still, at the time, I did not know I had ADHD or depression. I kind of figured I had depression. By the time I was in high school, I figured I had, by the time I was in middle school, I was like, I'm 
depressed. I think this is depression. Um, you know, by the time you take basic psychology, it's like, oh, okay, I'm depressed. That was awesome. I didn't know about the ADHD and I didn't know about the anxiety. <sighs> but by this time, I'm feeling really depressed um, because I'm still a loser. I still can't dress. I still feel ugly. I still can't make straight A's. Like, everything is still so the same. And I feel hopeless. I feel like there's no hope for change. On top of that, I couldn't have any fun. Like, no, I couldn't go to no Halloween party or trick-or-treating or anything like that. I couldn't go anything. I couldn't do anything. Right? And now it's getting chillier. Now it's getting colder. Because if there's one thing I could do, I could at least be outside. I could at least be outside go to the playground in the very least I could do that but when it starts getting this kind of when it starts getting chilly it's just a reminder that oh pretty soon I won't be able to pretty soon the grass will be dead the monkey bars will be icy cold and I'm feeling pretty lame this is when I like to retreat um, I mean I, I always would retreat but I especially around this time I'm going to my gaming forums and doing RPG role play and who was calling me at this time? Yo, it's always somebody needs to Okay. Disordered eating. Oh, abuse. wonderful. Like the car is a really great place to record. Okay. So I'm feeling bad and I'm just retreating to playing The Sims and like doing role plays on an RPG gaming forum and whatever else I used to do, girl, like chat with people on AOL chat and like make all these parasocial relationships on AOL Instant Messenger. <sighs> Even when I was in college and I had a little bit more freedom, like Okay, now we have freedom to go to Halloween parties. I don't know. They're just lame. And I never liked my costume. I didn't have money for a costume. I don't know. I just could never relish the spirit. I could just never get into it. And, um... Now... I feel like... I think I can. Like... Yeah, I think I can relish the spirit. I mean, it's not like I have to study after work. Like, after work, I, I'm i free. Yeah, I'm on my way to actually going to my dance training. But, you know, like, I'm an adult. I can do what I want to do. I can dress how I want to dress. I didn't, I didn't plan ahead this year. I didn't plan ahead, so I don't have a really good costume. But I have the finances that if I wanted a good costume... And I planned it. Maybe I could. I'm going to be dressed up as, as a 067 from Squid Game. Okay? It's a, it's a jumper. It's a green jumper. And it's coming November 1st. I did not plan Halloween well at all because I'm just so used to just being depressed around this time. That I had no idea that any part of me would want to participate in Halloween. And that blew my mind like wait a second I'm it feels like I'm living life it feels like the training wheels of life are coming off like I actually want to ride well here's what comes next right after Halloween now it's November birthday month don't care my birthday never cared we never made a super big deal about birthdays don't worry we I know there are there are um, there's certain situations where people are like not allowed to celebrate their birthday and it really impacts them. We weren't like that. Um, we act, we celebrated birthdays. It just wasn't like a big, like we, there was no birthday month. There was no, let's spend uh, five grand on decorations. Like sometimes we had a party. Sometimes we didn't. Sometimes there was a gift. Sometimes it's just a card. Like, you know, like, you, you do the best that you can. 
But the real thing was Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was hard for me because I hated being at home. School was an escape for me. At home, there are just, there are just some things that, um, that wasn't, that wasn't good at home. And school was my escape. So I would have a lot of anxiety around Thanksgiving time because that meant I have to be at home. And I would always have to like figure out some, some excuse to not be at home. Like, oh, we have a study group. Oh, we have band practice. Oh, like I always have to figure out something. And then on the actual day, there's no excuse. Like there's no study group or band practice on actual Thanksgiving. I just had to suck it up. And we would go from house to house. We'd go to different people's houses. And I hated that because I just have all so much anxiety. I didn't know that was anxiety. But I was depressed and fully anxious. And I was not given any information. You know what I mean? Like, no, you, you're, nobody's telling me where we're going, how long, who's there. And it was a very anxiety-ridden time for me even while in college because it's Thanksgiving break. Why are you still on campus? You need to go home. Okay. So I go through that emotional roller coaster. I don't know what it's going to be like this year. This year is completely new to me. Like all of my feelings and everything is going to be completely new because I've never, I've never been through the holidays not severely depressed. I've never been through the holidays with, you know, something I can take for my anxiety. I've never been like this before. So I don't know what it's going to be like. I don't know what it's going to be like. Also, there's, there's family drama when it comes to um, my partner. And this might be the first year where... <laughs> I can finally celebrate. <sighs> this might be the first year that we can finally celebrate. Guilt free, no games, no hiding, no BS. So I don't know what to expect this year. I just remember what it used to feel like. And then it gets worse because then there's December, the holidays, no excuse. Nobody is working and there's no practice and there's nothing going on during Christmas break. You have to be at home. I didn't care about the presents. We didn't get many presents. We got one present per kid. Two if you're lucky, okay? Two if auntie was thinking about you this year. I didn't care about that. I just wanted to feel good. I wanted to feel merry and bright and like all the Christmas songs. I wanted someone to love as I got older. I wanted someone to snuggle with, someone to look at the beautiful lights with and dream with. But growing up, put, seeing those Christmas lights put up all around at the shopping center and everywhere, it just triggered pain for me, emotional pain. The only good thing was we have international families. So we would go to London or Nigeria. We would go where there is family if, if we could afford it. And that was amazing for me because I, I love anthropology and I love learning about the world. And it was not at home, right? We're in a completely different environment everything is different and that was the only saving grace for me for the holidays but on the years that we didn't have the money to do that um I, again suck it up but this time even worse it's freezing outside it's cold i can't even be outside i can't even sit in the grass and think alone outside anymore i have to be inside short days gray skies super depressed at this point I'm severely depressed at this point but then it's the new year new year is always kind of fun I appreciated the new year it wasn't big I appreciated it 
but it was low-key a reminder of how much I felt that I sucked and a reminder of how much my life sucked and how much I felt that nothing would ever change because I felt like I was never making progress yes I am 15 years old judging myself on how I haven't done enough personal development and growth yeah but this year I want to do something fun for New Year's I want to actually go to a fun or swanky party I want to look hot I want to have a dress I want to Ah, I want to live life like truly I feel like maybe I can live life yeah and then it all comes to a head around Super Bowl time around Super Bowl time is when I feel like okay I can go back to regular depression like it's like okay I can let go of the severe anxiety and the severe depression and go back to just regular but this is the first year where it's not just going to be regular. It's going to be literally what I want. It's going to be the life I create. And depression doesn't have to be there. And anxiety doesn't have to be there. And the love of my life can be there. So I just wanted to make this video. I have to get going. I have dance practice, but um thanks for watching. If you watched up to this point, leave the paw prints in the in the comments so that we know you were here and um to anybody who still struggles with the time of year that's coming around. I hope I'm proof that there's hope. I never thought, I never thought there would be hope for me. I never thought there would be hope. Thanks for watching. Until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.